I've just been wearing a mask so often, sometimes I feel naked without it. I think for the school, I feel okay about it just because I know that USC is due diligence all of us. So I was at the grocery store and my, the person at the register didn't have a mask on and like something in my brain felt something was wrong and I was like, oh shit, she doesn't have a mask. <laughs> Cause I, I've kind of forgot what people look like without like the mask on. Beginning of the pandemic when the CDC was discouraging people from wearing masks uh, and then all of a sudden switched gears and said, okay, everyone wear masks. Um, I think it created this lack of trust between uh, the CDC and the general public. I am a bit concerned, especially with, I mean, you hear the rise of the Delta variant. For me, because I'm an athlete, it makes it easier to work out. But on the other hand, um, people are not legally required to say if they're vaccinated or not. There are service workers here who may May, who may not consent to having customers walk in, but they have to do it anyways because you know, they work there. There are other students who are um, immunocompromised. I am one of them. I come from China and most people are fully vaccinated. And in public space, people don't really wear a mask anymore. Even today I was at the gym and like nobody was wearing masks and I was like, okay, I think I'm not gonna come back anymore. <laughs> you know, when I'm out in a, in a free space, kind of like here, um, I am comfortable being maskless. I know there is a small chance, uh, even though I'm vaccinated, that I could carry uh, the Delta variant and pass it on to other people. All the other state schools, um, like UCs and Cal States in California, are requiring not only masks, but also vaccinations. We're still getting out of this pandemic and no one really knows how to navigate it.